What's good, crazy emulation? We back at it with another emulation video. This is NBA 2K9 on RPCS3. Surprisingly, this one actually ran pretty good. I preferred it over the 2K11 that I ran. It still had its moments where it'll dip, but it stayed more around the 55 to 60 range. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll hide you in a little bit. has a sweeter stroke than Ray Allen, a premier scorer and a lethal three-point shooter. Along with Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan here, Cheryl Miller will join us in a bit. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. Well, we're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. Celtics then pull the tip off and we'll get this one started. Here's Rondo. It's blocked. Well, it's simply tough to get over the top when you're giving up that much height. Kobe gets a good look, scores the opening field goal. Even though it was early in the shot clock, that's an opportunity you can't pass up, Kevin. Backs him down. Rondo. Graceful finish. This agility and soft touch really paid off there. Not many players could have laid that in. Dishes to the inside. Takes it up. The bucket was set up with the dish by Kobe. Bryant just snuck that pass into the lane for the easy two. To Perkins. Takes it up. Lays it right in. The soft inbounds the ball. Time for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, I had a moment to speak with Doc Rivers, coach of the Celtics. He told me that he wants his team to focus on the defense at the end of the floor. He feels that if they can lock it down and keep this from being a shootout, they'll be in a great position to win this game. All right. Thanks, Cheryl. Here's Rondo. Finishes with the soft touch. Came up big there against a the much bigger opponent. Sweet play down low. Bryant shoots it up. Off from three-point land. The Celtics with a two-for-one opportunity. Let's see how they play the clock. 
Allen. Bynum reels in the defensive rebound. Shocking how wide open he was. Even more shocking that he couldn't see. 22 seconds left in the first. Here's Pierce. Flips it in for two. Here. Got lucky on that one. Not a high percentage shot to say the least. Gasol. Passes it to Bryant. And up. We've reached the end of the first, and it's a barn burn. Still close to Nine to eight. The Lakers with the slight lead. They're looking to find the open man, and you can see their advantage in assists. Nonetheless, their interior defense has plenty of room for improvement. They're giving up too many points in the bank. All right, the second quarter should begin. Gasol inbounds it to start the second quarter. To the free throw line. Dishes it to Odom. No good. Looks like he had the angle. That's a bad miss. That goes to the goal. The dish to Allen. Releases. Brings it from downtown. The score being so close, there's little margin for error by either team. Gasol goes up, up high in town hall. He's getting the highlight real play of the day. Wait a minute. Make that week. Hey, make it the year. Now that was a dunk. Rondo. When the defender has the length advantage on you, you better have a plan B. Bryant passes it up court. Here's Gasol. Pops it in on the layup. Nice shot by the eight-year veteran out of Spain. Rondo, almost a three-point opportunity. Still, they'll go to the line for two. Mark, the Boston Celtics had a magical season last year, welcoming Garnett and Allen and adding them to Paul Pierce. That's a regular season record. And then a world championship magical season. It truly was. To see those guys come together as they did, focus on one goal and get that goal accomplished. One of the great stories in sport. The Lakers are going to make some substitutions. The shot from beyond the arc misfired by Bryant. He's typically money from out there, but he couldn't strike that one. Got a hand on it. Rodmanovich, way up court. Kobe. Oh, just missing, but he'll get two shots at the line. Well, Phil Jackson is down again. He's taken this team of, of Los Angeles Lakers. Clark and he is, he is more with them, not necessarily using the triangle offense all the time, but as all great coaches do, being open-minded to different styles of play. Sure, they have that as their bread and butter. Sure, that is their foundation. But this Laker team showed a lot of different ways to play this season. And last season, I think it shows the maturity of some of their players. And you know, the maturity of some of their players was displayed with the play of the bench. I thought the reserves, that second unit for the Lakers, was really a significant factor in the success of this team. And I think that's going to be the case going forward as well, Kevin. That's why this team is going to continue to be a contender in the Western Conference and the NBA for championships going forward. No good. Here's Bynum. Off line. And that concludes the first half. The score, 17 to 14. This has been a fast-paced game, Kevin. Yeah, both teams are lighting up the scoreboard. Andrew Bynum is our leading shot blocker with... All right, the second half should begin in just a moment. Gasol inbounds it to start the second half. Kobe. Missed. Kevin, he threw that thing up from another area, bro. He's pretty confident in his range. Maybe a bit too confident. And now our 
sideline reporter Cheryl Miller has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, as he came out of the Celtics locker room, I spoke with Coach Josh Rivers. He told me that they don't have to elevate their game if they want to hold on to this lead. He mentioned that he hopes his team picks up their energy for the second half. And if they can't, they could be in trouble. Sounds like he's not too comfortable with his team's performance. All right. Well, they simply couldn't have guarded any better than that. That's just an amazing shot. Good offense, beating good defense. To Odom, seven on the shot clock, Bynum, flies in for the layup. You can't allow him to establish deep position like that. Once he gets it in that close, he's almost unstoppable. Rondo, blocked, Perkins with the save. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was a Bryant. So close, but he drew the foul, and they'll get two shots at the line. You can tell that was money from the moment it left his hands. You don't expect anything less when he's at the line. He's just a terrific free throw shooter. Rondo hands it off. Pierce, hauled in, Perkins, can't convert the layup, 22 seconds left in the third, Bryant, rebounded, Bryant is a streaky shooter, and at the moment, he's really struggling, the dump off to Perkins, hits the bottom of the net, ready to stretch the basketball, Odom, inbounds the ball, Kobe, Got it up. Oh! Nails the buzzer beater. Well, it's been an exciting game as we finish the third. The score is still close. 23 to 21. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Pierce inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Feeds to Ronda. Rondo. Rondo is just on a roll. He's not only leading his team in scoring, but doing it at a very efficient rate. He's putting up some big numbers, but he's not forcing anything. He's shooting a high percentage, and everything's coming in the flow of the offense. Sinks the second, and that makes it a three-point lead. The Lakers with the ball, and it's a one-possession game. Kobe, the shot. Throws down the reverse jam. When he gets it going like this, you've got a double team. That's your only hope. Allen. Nice rebound by the four-year man out of St. Joseph High School. Kobe. Garnett. That's his fourth rebound this fall. The break is on. That is final shutdown defense. Rondo passes to Pierce. They will this one go to pop the shot. Gasol inbounds the ball. The Lakers don't have much time. They've got to score quickly. Fisher. Dishes to the high post. To Odom. Feeds to the left side. Fisher. Huge buck. Man, what a game. Less than one minute left. Pierce. Puts it in for two. Let's put the ball in his hands, Kevin. And watch him go to work. He's going to make something good here. Bryant, Perkins, snatch down. They usually knock that one down. Get look from behind the arc, but he couldn't get it to fall. To Garnett, puts it up. 
Seven on the shot clock. Yes! The Lakers will call a full timeout. They're trailing by five. Fifteen seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? Well, the options are reduced to one right here. Quick shot, intentional foul, and hope for missed free throws at the other end. The song inbounds the ball. Fisher. The three won't fall. The Lakers will go for the intentional foul. Knocks it down. He couldn't get them all, and it's still a two possession game. Gets it to fall. Second timeout. They're down by eight. Five seconds left in the game. Clark, what's your take? We're going to talk strategy or perhaps what's on the dinner menu tonight. Because this one is really about over. They have no chance to miss it. The Celtics win the hard fought game as they outlast the Lakers 33 to 27. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. And always leave me requests in the comments down below. And I'll hide you later. Peace out.